Something that I've noticed about Nintendo over the years, and maybe you have too, is that their UIs are almost always garbage. Not so much the way that they look. Visual design has never been a problem for them, but the UX of their menus have always been a confusing labyrinth. From what we've seen of the Switch menu interfaces so far, it looks like they might be learning. So recently there was a major leak of Switch specs and development stills. I don't really care about the Switch specs, but I know a lot of you people out there do, so BAM! Here's the specs. Pause the screen if you're that curious. But we already know that this isn't going to be a powerhouse, so this isn't really that important. What I am interested in is the home screen. Boy, how exciting. No, I haven't run out of video ideas. God damn it. <laughs> I'm a designer by trade, so UI and UX design interest me. And I know that Nintendo's has always been terrible. It's something they need to improve on. Nintendo has had some pretty terrible home screen menus over the years. The 3DS's menu is passable, but the Wii U's home screen menu is deplorable. There are three different screens. You have the quick start menu, this weird looking lobby thing, and the screen with all of the tiles. At first, these three screens are very overwhelming, particularly the last two. The quick start guide is actually useful if you want to just jump into the last game you played. It's nice and simple. The lobby looking menu is absolutely useless, and the tiles menu doesn't always have everything that you need. It might take you a few clicks to get to anywhere meaningful, and the same thing could be said for the the 3DS menu and for the Wii menu. The Switch menu is already looking a lot more promising. We got our first look at it about a month ago during the Breath of the Wild demo. The simplicity is perfect. You have only what you need right here. It's also good to note that most of the buttons are large enough for finger presses in case you're in portable mode. The flat design is also a really nice modern touch. Shortly after this was shown, developer Nicholas Inc. tweeted an image of the same looking screen but in black. This implies that there might be a night mode which would be awesome for our sore eyeballs. They're most likely using a dev kit though so this could change. The leaked documentation that hit the internet yesterday looks like preliminary mock-ups of the menu system. If we compare the two, we have pretty much the same info, it just might be in different spots. That looks like a heart, but it must be a mountain. Meaning this will bring up the photo album. That's like the generic picture icon. I guess it kind of looks like a Mario mountain because it's curved at the top. The user's avatar is shown in both, just in different positions. On the mock-up, you have multiple users available right in front of you but the final just has one. It's possible there's just one user account on this demo switch. In some Japanese screens, we can see multiple avatars up at the top. This must be how you pick different users for different controllers. The first one being the first controller, the second one being the second controller, and etc. Or it could be that this is how you switch between users. But I'd assume that the user system would work similarly to the other Nintendo products because you're going to want different users for different controllers. The only icons that might mean different things in the mock-up and in the final version are the notepad and the chat bubble icons. If we look at the workflow for the mock-up here, it looks like that would have been news. They must have changed the name to notifications in the final version. This makes a lot more sense. If I want to see what my friend requests are, or if there's any updates to my games, I wouldn't immediately think to go to news. I'd think to go to notifications. This workflow is important because it shows that everything is immediately accessible from the home screen. No need to go through multiple menus to get to what you want. It looks like you can select the game you want and load right into it, or there will be a select or right click function that will load more info. Who's playing it, news and updates on the game, etc. It also looks like Miis will still be used as player avatars. Your friends list will be accessed by clicking your avatar, as well as your profile and presumably account settings. We also get an idea of what the share button menu might look like, and what the eShop game pages would look like too. Of course, these aren't final versions, but I think it's safe to assume that the amount of information we see here is close to final. We can expect these screens to be very minimal. This will make things so much easier to navigate, which is a fantastic departure from the traditional Nintendo nonsense. If you like this, I'm gonna link a video here and at the end slate where I talk about the UI design of Super Smash Brothers and Mario Maker because they're both terrible. Especially the Mario Maker one. It's like, it's god-awful. <laughs> Amazing game? 
terrible UI design. Although I think I say that the UI design is good, but the UX is bad. It's it, the line, it's UI and UX design, the line's murky, I explained it in that video. It's also an old video, so keep that in mind too. So what do you guys think about the menu system in the Nintendo Switch? Is there anything in particular that you'd like to see? Is there anything that bothered you about the menu systems in Nintendo's past? Leave it in the comments below. I'm me on Twitter, all of this other social media garbage. Speaking of Twitter, yesterday I uploaded a video about how my Twitter doesn't work. So don't forget to check that out also. And maybe help me out a little bit, because I, I need all the help I can get to get that fixed. So I can talk to all of my friends here in real time. I almost said real life. It's not quite the same. <laughs> Don't forget there's new videos every single Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and now Saturday because of the backlog. And Wednesday nights, Wolf Den Live, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Don't you ever forget about that. We can have our little exclusive chats together. And of course, the most important things you could do is subscribe and share this video with a friend, a friend who is hyped on the Nintendo Switch, as hyped as I am. Thank you guys very much, and have a good week.